and James Harden. Let's get straight to it. NBA Insider said there's a 70% chance James Harden will join the Houston Rockets next season. He said, Where's this? where there's smoke, there's fire. And then there's Rockets. <laughs> Not funny. Um, I don't see that happening. Um, It doesn't really make sense for either side, you know. I know Harden wants to get back in his bag and stuff like that. But it's like, um, James Harden's side, it's like... What's the point of even going back there just to carry niggas and not do anything and not win a championship? It's probably his best chance to win a championship since Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, in my opinion. And then for the Rockets, you know, you have a young core. You're probably going to get another, like, what top-tier pick. You're just going to mess up the growth of their players. It doesn't really make sense at all for the Rockets either. So I don't really see it happening. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. And then James Harden just signed an extension, right, last last offseason. So it would have to be through a trade or something like that, right? Mm. And I think Embiid's going to lead the Sixers one day, though. I will say that. I think he's going to demand a trade one day. He's going to get tired of just, like, losing, coming in, like, second, third, fourth, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he's going to demand a trade. I could just see it happening one day. One day, though. Not this year. Not next year. But maybe the year after, I'm telling you. He's going to get tired of it. I can see it in his eyes already, you know what I'm saying? He already looks sad, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me. And uh, Patrick Beverly, if you didn't know, she's shining with the Chicago Bulls. Um, you know, I'm happy to see Pat Bev on his team, or on a team, hometown hero. You know how Pat Bev does it, brings the tenacity, that Chicago energy. I'm hearing Patrick Beverly is like a big bro out of Chicago for all the basketball hoopers, you know what I'm saying? It's good to see, you know what I'm saying? I love Patrick Beverly. That's good. I'm happy he's on a team. But he said the East is kind of weak. <laughs> it's the, he's already coming in chalking trash, man. You got to love Patrick Beverly. Um, I mean, there's four good teams in the East, to be honest. And um, I feel like the Cavs are just a team that's just full of sweats and, like, annoying players. But they're young, so it's like you could probably beat them. Philly is just Philly. You know, obviously, they got James Harden, Joel Embiid, top-tier center in the league, one or two, however you want to put it. It's like, um, you know, it's weird. It's weird. And then obviously you got the Bucks. They do their thing in the Celtics. But it's like, I don't know. I feel like the Philly, uh, Philly is probably beatable. Oh, all of them are beatable in my opinion. But, you know, I feel like Philly and the Cleveland are probably the most beatable, you know, obviously out of those four. But the Cavs, I feel like the Cavs can sneak their way to the finals and like upset one of the Celtics or the, um, the Bucks just because they're weird. But other than that, I'm going to catch you in the next one.